Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. You can get a much more accurate trend analysis when you're using candlestick signals. That's what we're kind of seeing right now in the market. That we're probably moving sideways. You get an accurate read when you get an uptrend strong signal and you're standing above the T-line. However, notice what's happening right here. It's waffling and it's not producing any bullish signals. And this is probably in a uh, uh, in regards to the uh, CPI number coming out tomorrow morning. Everybody waiting to see what the results of that will be. This allows you to stay away from getting into long positions or short positions with any aggressiveness until we get a much more clear assessment of what the trend is likely to do. Kind of the same scenario here in the NASDAQ. You're moving sideways. The positive trading today also kind of told us that the downtrend wasn't going anywhere and we need confirmation to see if an uptrend is starting. But that confirmation will come tomorrow morning at 830 when they put out the CPI number and that will show what the pre-market futures are going to do uh, based upon how they're going to open the market. Same scenario here with the S&P 500. So you uh, yeah, definitely want to see what the uh, pre-market futures is doing tomorrow after the CPI numbers. I don't know what's happened here. All right. So what you can do is even when the market is moving sideways, you can take advantage of the high profit patterns, a fry pan bottom breakout, then a bobble breakout. Again, look what's happened once it broke out through the level that everybody else was watching. This is where ent entering right here at the yesterday's close, when it comes or open, when it comes up through there, that tells you the consolidation at the 200 is over. That's when you can buy. This is what we kind of train people to look for because this is a normal reoccurrence of human nature. That's where everybody's buying when the pressure builds up a, a moving average. So when we see that gap up, these breakouts reveal that there's a major change of investor sentiment. And how long do you stay? long on this as long as they can't close it below the t-line and this is likely to produce a lot more upside so anytime we see that gap up we uh, recommended phr based upon the gap up yesterday and remember anytime you see that gap up kind of best friend signal breaking out through a level coming out of a fry pan bottom the probabilities are pretty strong that that fry pan bottom breakout is going to produce a very a strong uptrend. Now, remember, this is not rocket science. This is just analyzing what the Japanese rice traders have illustrated for us for hundreds of years of what usually happens in human nature. So we are now able to recognize or give a, a name to the J-hook pattern that comes back and supports right at a level. We're calling it the J-hook plus because you can see when it breaks out through a resistance level, they come right back and support it with bullish Haramis, making the next logical target the next major move in average. And when you have a strong signal, like when we recommended AMAT because of this signal, your best friend signal J-hook pattern, J-hook plus off a major move in average, that was your next likely target. So when we see Earnings reports, a lot of people say, well, what do you do going into earnings? Maybe you don't go into earnings holding on to something, but now you can recognize what type of investor sentiment was created after those earnings. So you might take a look and see or be ready to buy on positive trading because of this signal. Remember, that best friend signal and the kicker signal breaking out are your strongest candlestick signals creating breakout uh setups and they work in both directions a bearish best friend signal 
tells you there's going to be a lot of force to the downside. So when yesterday Lulu reported bad earnings, get ready to short this one because there's still going to be a long or strong force to the downside. That'll be it. Oh, this is not what I want on here. Uh, oh, for people, we were doing a uh, the J-Hook pattern training, supposedly on Saturday, but my computer goofed up. So we did a session on Sunday night, but we're going to redo the session on Tuesday night uh, at 8 p.m. Um, so people that already took the session can retake it. If you missed the session that you signed up for, you can take it. Or if you haven't signed up for it yet, you can still sign up because you get a lot of high profit uh, analysis coming out of that uh, session. Also, that's just one pattern. We're going to be doing a full day training on Saturday, December 17th, starting at 10 a.m. Probably will go to do to, to two, three, four in the afternoon. For members, it's a, uh, uh, yeah, if you took the uh, bobble session, paid for that, you can get into the um, session if you're a non-member for $100 off. For the non-members, it's 297 For members, it's 197 So if you took the uh, bobble session for $47, You'll get a hundred dollar discount on this training. So join us Saturday. You're going to see the J hook, the fry pan, the cradle, the scoop, the belt hold, how to use gaps. You're going to see how you utilize candlestick analysis using the strong pattern breakouts. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.